everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to do my next part of my fake grand order let's play of Babylonia. I think we're on four now, but don't count me on that because I don't remember, but anyway, we're going to the streets of Urk. Yay! And this is apparently a pure story chapter, that means it takes no AP from us. Yay! Go! <laughs> uh, so let's see what this pure story chapter has in store for us. Wow, that's pretty. It's been three days since we ray shifted to the ruins of Babylon. Master, we finally arrived at Urk. It looks like we'll have to pass through an inspection checkpoint before we get into the city. There's still some distance between us. Maybe we can sneak into the city without them noticing. Uh, can we sneak through? Yeah, good idea. I have a hunch any quarrel here would just escalate into a battle. Oh no! You over there! If you stray from the road, you'll be cursed by the ritual sect! Are you refugees from Ur? Then please be careful. The king uh, has given the ritual sect more power. What with it being a war and all. Urk is surrounded by a uh, ritual warning of uh, the demonic beast, but it seems to have some effect on humans as well. Oh, okay. Thank you for the warning. No, I've never seen you before. Which city are you from? Oh, they are refugees from Gidisu. As for myself, I engage in business, with the ritual sex permission, as you can see. I'd like to evacuate them into Urk. Are there any procedures I need to follow? That's the signal of Lady Siduri. You may pass. Sigil. I realize it said not that. Uh, as for a reception of refugees, Nutra's shop in the West Market should be good today. We just received word that the storage space on the second floor is opening up for refugees. Uh, daily necessities can be picked up at each gate. You can register at the as a temporary citizen at Radna's brothel. Please go there if you're planning to stay for more than two weeks. You must be tired from your long trip. Get some rest first. Welcome to the city of Urk. We are fighting to survive and we spare no efforts if it's if it's for the cause. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, that was unexpected. Hmm, hold on. I can't turn a blind eye on your fellow traveler. You in the black hood. Yes, you. Stop. Master, Miss Hannah has a blade under her robe. What is it? I'm impressed you managed to walk all the way here with your small build. Here, these are just leftovers, but please take them with you. They're candies my daughter gave me as an afternoon snack. But, uh, um, I, I, um... It'd be a great help if you would accept them. You see, these are a little too sweet for me. Um, if that's the case, I'll take them myself. <laughs> Senpai, you're an adult. Control yourself. And I'll just take one. Thank you very much. No problem. I was stationed here because of my good memory. I know your faces now, so I hope we meet again alive. Whether you set forth to battle or return to your homeland, seeing you alive and and well will bring me joy. Okay, random soldier. Thanks, I guess. That was weird. Hmm. New arrivals, new arrivals. Tons of uh, Anum Ale in stock. The newest from Dumuzid Brewery. Uh, fuck, what did she say? Our ale is fav uh, favored even by the king. Now's your chance to enjoy its supreme frothiness. Now's your chance. Exchanges! Exchanges over here! Check out our limited time silver exchange package! Right now you get five fish silver for one sheep silver, and three turtle silver for one wheat silver. If you're gonna eat at our place, I'll toss in a free roasted chicken leg! Bring your own containers! Folks, the West District is seeking personal to carry clay! 
Those who have muscles should come to the boat station in the city canals before sunrise. Looking forward to your help. No, wait. The armory needs people too. At this rate, we'll be sending twigs instead of spears to the northern wall. Those who know how to make weapons come to the armory. Scaffolds can wait till later. Later, I say. We've got plenty of aid from the king, so if you come to our place, you can make a fortune. Flowers, this is Merle's flowers. I know you all must be busy for the daily battles. But don't forget to put some cheer in your life. Celebrations, gift for your wives, ask about anything. What? What? What, what a bustling crowd. Yeah, the soldier earlier. The energy on the street. Is this really a city facing the end of the world? That it is! Welcome to Urk, the oldest fortress city in human history. Times may be dire, but the city remains lively. Everyone holds their heads high. Smoke from the smithies rise everywhere, and the ringing of their hammers echoes day and night. Yes. Everyone is nervous, and they're in a hurry, but they haven't forgotten to smile. Despair has no place in the city. It is bustling with the will to fight and the will to survive. That's not all. Unbelievable. What an efficient cityscape. Look at that map there. Each district is clearly separated by roll, and transportation is perfectly linked. Military production, construction, commerce, life? It's redesigned to provide for all of those things. How is this an ancient city? This is a fighting city so perfect that it would even work today. Sumerians started showing up uh, in history around 4000 BC, but their civilization was quite elaborate. It's the oldest human civilization. It began when people abandoned a village-based society hosting thousands. It formed city-states, housing tens of thousands of people by pioneering crop production boost through irrigated farming. Of course, with a country that big, the invention of writing and the implement, uh, implementation of higher education in schools was only a matter of time. Though they were not blessed with lumber, the fertile land sandwiched by the two great rivers created quality mud. Which the Sumerians needed to make clay. That, in turn, was used to build many fortresses. That is Mesopotamia, the land of mud, clay, wheat, and sheep. Now, Dr. Roman, you call this city, a, uh, this city quite barbaric. Do you have anything to say? I don't. I'm sorry for underestimating it. I assumed it was just a city-state dependent on trade. Good. Then we'll save a tour of the city for later. Let's head over to the ziggurat. A Mesopotamian shrine? I know what those are. I remember that from history class. Yeah, there's another shrine honoring Uts, uh, Uduk's patron god. But unfortunately, that particular deity has not been seen lately. We're finally meeting King Gilgamesh. Let's head on with all due enthusiasm. I'm enthusiastic. <laughs> I'm hype. I'm excited. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> that was quick. Uh, I'm excited to meet Gilgamesh, so let's do it. Oh, two. Oh, gosh. So many places popping up. Okay. So the Celestial Hall and uh, the Ziggurat. So, Gilgamesh's Calamity. Oh boy, and we are fighting Caster, so I would assume we are fighting Gilgamesh himself. So, what are Caster's weak to again? Uh, Riders. Okay. Well, let's get... I can bring my favorite boy along! I can bring my boy! Except I can't do that. Uh, let's get rid of that. Oh god, that's a lot. Okay. Um, okay. We'll do that, and then... Begin battle with your MP charge at 20. Increase defense. Quick guard, right, let's do that. Okay, so, um, wait, to riders, they say. I don't think I have any really stronger riders than that. I mean, I do have them, but I really don't want to use them. 
So we'll bring Emmy along. Um, let's see, let's put you in the back. And assassins, I think, are weak to casters, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So I need to get rid of Skahawk. Skahawk, you gotta go bye bye. Um, we'll bring Chloe because that's useful. And I think that team will serve us quite well. Um, I think I'm gonna put that one on you, though, because I do want to try to increase that. And I don't think I'd be able to do that other one. I think it's too expensive. Let's see, where is it? It's in the gold, I'm pretty sure it should be. Oh yeah, way too expensive, so. <laughs> nope. Uh, increase your defense. Quick card, increase buster. There we go. That's what we want. Okay, we will go with this team for this fight. And we'll have to see how it goes. <laughs> oh boy. Oh god. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this, fam. Da -da -da -da. That's so pretty. We were uh, right. Uh, we were led right to the royal hall. I'm surprised how friendly everyone is. Merlin's our fast pass. <laughs> fast pass. That's funny. That's funny. It makes me think of Disney. Yes. Although all the maidens seem to be avoiding Merlin, <laughs> probably a reason for that. So we're still a ways away. But is that King Gilgamesh over there? Yay, I'm excited. Hi! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, what voice am I gonna give him? Um. Don't make me repeat myself. The newer information about the war, the better. Keep bringing me reports. The harder we work, the less chance they'll have to attack. If you want to take it easy, keep fighting. Yes, sir. We added three supply trains to bring more clay tablets from the sec uh, secretary, uh, secretary every hour, whatever the fuck he said. Good. Next, is this today's list of shipments? The shipments from the city of Erish are being delayed. Uh, did the demonic beast set up a lair on the roads? Oh, sorry, that was still him talking. I thought it was someone else. I'm an idiot. Um, fuck. Gilgamesh? Okay. Send 20 men from the eastern barracks to clear the way. Temmun can take command. It's his home. He knows it well. <laughs> Whose idiotic order was this? Why are the Basmu car car uh, carcasses? carcasses being sent to Anna? Researchers have nothing to do. This is the time to put their annoying little brains to work. Yes, sir. I'll send them over to the Tiamat research team right away. Here's the answer from Girisu. Curse that temple matron up there in Girisu. I know there's still supplies stored in the temple. Bow! Have them sent everything to the front lines. It'll be the end of the world if the wall breaks. Tell her food can't be taken to the underworld. Is this the report from the astrologers? Good. They match what I observed. The reading for the harvest season isn't bad. Given, give a lapis lazuli necklace to whoever is in charge. But there's no time for them to rest. Have them read the report from Eddie Doof's re, uh, search team. By the way, I heard that Tabato's daughter is giving birth. Uh, send her a secret prostitute to aid her, along with some healthy fruits. Wow, he's really freaking nice. He's like, he's like ordering people and he's like, you know, he's nice about it sometimes, but then he's stern when he needs to be. I like this. I like, oh god, I love this game. Okay. Pull Tabato off the northern wall and give him three days rest. His grandson's, fa uh, grandson's face will give him courage. I'm surprised. This isn't the Gilgamesh that I have, like, come to, like, know. It's very interesting. Um, this isn't how I pictured him from the stories I heard. I thought he would be more terrible and irresponsible. He's yelling at one priest after another. I can sense how busy he is from here. It doesn't seem like we'll be able to get a word in. Um, it's the work of the courage to talk to him. I need to walk up to this hot boy and talk to him. That's right. You shouldn't wait for the king to have a spare moment. Because he doesn't. <laughs> he won't wait for you either. You should say what's on your mind, even if it's a bit rude. <laughs> okay, so can I walk up to him and tell him he's really, really fucking sexy? Is that okay? <laughs> Especially if you believe that's the right thing to do. Now, here we go. Okay, yeah, so, <laughs> let's go.
King Gilgamesh, I'm Merlin, Mage Extraordinaire, I brought guest. Busy? Yeah, I can see that. So don't worry. I'll bring them right now. Uh, <laughs> wait, my hand. <laughs> this is Senpai. Merlin, wait. Okay. Bow down before the king. Bow down before the king. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hi. She's kind of pretty. So you've returned, Merlin. Welcome. The king is happy to see you. I'm amused. <laughs> and did you bring uh, back the tablet? Ah, oh, that's I knew it. I knew when he was talking about who summoned him. He's talking about. I knew it. Did you bring back the Tablet of Destinies as your king ordered? No, uh, I didn't have luck this time. It's not in the Cedar Forest. Sheesh, if only you remembered where you left it, Your Majesty. I wouldn't have to work this hard. Silence, know your place, mage. The king just happened to be tired when he scribed the tablet. Even I've never heard of memory loss from exhaustion, but if the king says that's the case, then it must be. Do as he says and keep looking for it. More importantly, who are those people? They do not no they do not they don't look like Erks. It's fine. I understand the situation. You may go, Sidori. King Gilgamesh for you to bring out the dinger. Don't tell me. Just as you suspect it, be ready to clean the throne. No need to worry. I am simply sending two strangers back to the heavens. I'm busy. Even with the time I'd have to spend uh, to exchange words with you is too precious for me to spare. Thus, I shall ascertain the truth of your words through battle. Prepare yourselves, mages of the observatory. Observat fuck, whatever. And Merlin, stand down. Do not interfere. That's great. Uh, I don't like to get my hands dirty. Uh, sorry, but would you give them a hand? The king prides himself on his self-control. But let's be honest, he's not one to hold back in battle. I mean, you prefer combat over conversation too, right? This is one of those fists be gladder than words moments. So I'm being forced into a useless fight again. Please die, Merlin. <laughs> uh, sorry, once this is over, let's get Merlin together. <laughs> it's alright. It's not your fault. I'll help you if you like. Okay, cool. So we gotta fight Gilgamesh. Oh boy! This one I'm a little less terrified of fighting than the, like the Archer Gilgamesh. This one, I like this one. This one's, this one's, this one. See, this is what I saw in Gilgamesh when I like watched Fate. This kind of better side of him that we're being shown here. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm seeing it. So that's what I'm seeing right now. So yeah. take it as you will. But I think Gilgamesh is good deep down. Fight me. Fight me, I think he's good deep down. I think Gilgamesh is good deep, deep, deep down. <laughs> it's like deep down, but he, you know, it's probably there. Deep down, but you know. Somewhere deep down, it's there, hopefully. At least you know, that's what I think. Okay, let's... Um, hopefully we... Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. We could use some normal phantasms here. Or they really like hitting Chloe. It's like, can y'all not? But they're going to. <laughs> okay, not bad. Okay. 
I'm fine with using them here because uh, for the next fight, hopefully they'll kind of help out, but then they'll die. So I don't know. We'll have to see how this goes. He prays. He prays for that unlimited salt works. <laughs> oh god, that joke's horrible. Okay. Like, that joke's bad. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, most likely one of them will die. It might be Chloe. I don't know. Let's just see what this thing does. Oh. Okay. I thought for sure that I was wrong. I was wrong. Yeah, probably not gonna kill it. Not very close. Ah, poop. Well, pooper. <laughs> Get Ozzy's MP up. Well, not quite. It will from this, maybe? Yes, it will. And then we can MP3 on uh, Gil here. Nice. Oh, and there's other enemies. Great. <laughs> it's like, great, thanks. Now I'm gonna focus on Gil getting killed first. Or not killed, he's not gonna die, so we're just gonna, you know. Yeah. Because I'm sure he's important to this story. At least what, from what I can tell, how this is going already, that he's important to the story. Bone of my sword. So, as I pray, unlimited blade works. And now, Ozzy. Awesome sauce. Okay. Now we're gonna go back to attacking this. I mean, it's gonna die next turn, probably, most likely. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually lived. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. I was like, come on. You can't just, like... Yeah, okay. Do that. <laughs> awesome, good. That's what I wanted. Alright. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay. Um, we'll do that. Oh, nice. Got that going there. And then he'll finish that one off, and then he can do that on Gil. Not gonna kill him, obviously, but it's gonna help a lot. Well, a bit. He's getting close to getting this Nova Phantasm, but that kind of scares me. But it's fine. We've got this. We can do this. We're gonna be just fine. Right? It's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine. It's fine. Oh yeah, we're gonna do this. Is the, yeah, it's fine. We got this. Uh huh. Okay. I really don't need to use his noble phantasm. I wouldn't think. But I probably will just to end it before he can use his. Cause like I don't need it now, but I'm using it anyway to finish him off. Just you know to be on the safe side. Just be on the safe side, you know. 
空を仰げ地を這えお前の見上げる太陽の輝きが世であるはあ、I was reading the next battle and uh, interesting Anyway, moving on to whatever to whatever is about to happen Oh boy <laughs> Okay, just jumping in the next battle, which we are fighting archers. Huh, now I I don't know if that's Castorgill there or it's gonna be Merlin. And if it's Merlin, I'm gonna be really upset because I'd like to try him out, but I think it's probably Castorgill. So, uh, archers uh, are weak to lancers, right? Yes. So, ah, perfect. That's what I wanted. So, for this battle, let's put Deer Moon in here and let's remove you and put you. And let's see what the Lance. Oh, right. I have my good girl. My best girl. Well, not my best girl, but I got a whole team of Lancers here. Jesus. Okay. Um, probably keep it like that. And let's see. Increase your quick. Um, increase Buster. Perfect. Okay, I think I'll keep it like this. I think it'll be fine. I can hope and pray this is gonna be fine. We're about to find out. <laughs> oh god. The battle's over. He attacked so suddenly that we fought back without thinking, but He <laughs> He He looks angry. <laughs> uh he didn't seem to like that. Ooh. Yes, halfway through the battle. He clearly started holding back. Just who does he think he is, I wonder? A waste of time. I was curious to see what those tasks by heaven could do, but you are no mere than Zashu or mongrels. You are unworthy of my help and unfit to serve me. Well, now I'm kind of sad because I wanted to, but you aren't even worthy of punishing for messing up my throne room. I'll let you go this time, so be gone! Your Majesty, please calm yourself. They seem like powerful warriors to me. Are they the strangers you spoke of? Merlin brought them here, so yes, they probably are. But it's too soon. Far too soon. See that stupid look on her face? Still not a clue what's happening here. Are you talking to me? I don't know if he's, if he's talking to me. I want to punch you for that. I love you, but no, don't call me stupid. There's no point in talking to them. Merlin, seems you let yourself get distracted. Hmm, for some reason, this is turning out to be my fault. Do you have anything to say, Sarah? At this rate, he really will kick you out of here. Uh, okay, I'm going to work up the courage and give them my name. That's what I'm going to do. I don't care. It's not worth learning your name. Be gone, scum. Dang it, I'm sad. My husband is dissing me. Uh, I didn't expect things to go this bad. What's going on, Merlin? The king doesn't seem interested in Chaldea at all. Mm, you're right. That's strange. I thought he and I were on the same wavelength there. I mean, I didn't tell him what Kalia was, or what a servant was. Well, gosh dang it, Merlin, this is all your fault. Uh, or about the inspiration of humanity, or the King of Mages, or the Grails, or the Singularities, or, the, if any, or any of that stuff. Well, you know, this could... Boy. But you know, he should be able to figure that out, right? He's a king after all. You didn't tell him anything then. And you're the one who said he was really busy, right? Oh, hmm, you're right. Oops, I should have explained things, huh? Yes, that's Merlin for you. Totally useless. Now you're only you're now you're our only hope, Sarah. Great, it's all up to me again. Let's try persuading King Gilgamesh once more. Even he'll understand if you explain properly. There's no need for that. I can hear you, concealed one. 
know that I am capable of all things, and so possesses all knowledge. Thus, there is nothing my eyes cannot see, though as you can see, I have yet to fulfill my destiny. I am aware of the process of summoning and commanding heroic spirits, what you call heroic spirit summoning. That, uh, my name is one of the list of those spirit origins, and that you possess, that you possess as well. Hmm. <laughs> well, third grade master there probably lacks the power to summon me. Well, guess what? You're a liar, because you're in my county, so. Ha! Fuck you. Okay. Perhaps one day. That day has already come. <laughs> King Gilgamesh is from this era. But even though Merlin never told him, he knows all about Chaldea, and the fact that he's going to become a heroic spirit. Which makes it even more important that he listens to us. Right, let's talk, let's at least talk about the Grail. Yes, that's right, Master. Hear us, King Gilgamesh. If we don't recover the Grail, that somewhere in this era, the Singularity will destroy humanity. So we need to find the Grail as fast as possible. The Grail... Of course! Of course he already has it. Figured as much. What's wrong? You're after the Grail, aren't you? And... I'm detecting the Grail. I had a hunch, but it looks like King Gilgamesh already has it. I freaking knew it. It's so obvious. Of course, all the treasures in this world belong to me. I obtained the Omnipotent Wish Granter a long time ago. That's probably what the Three Goddess Alliance is after, and otherwise, they'd have no reason to attack Urk. And don't you dare ask me to give it to you. There's no reason for me to give you any of my treasures. So, if you ask for the Grail, be prepared to give me more than just your life. Oh, does that mean I can offer up my body to you? Because I would be totally okay with that, don't you understand? <sighs> anyway, um... <laughs> That's true. We don't have anything to offer in exchange. I'll offer myself. I'm perfectly okay with becoming one of his wenches or whatever it is they do in this era. Prostitute, whatever. I don't care. Just sign me the fuck up. <laughs> Then what if we defeat the or or okay maybe that that that's probably a better idea. And what if we defeat the three goddess alliance? <laughs> defeat them? You're going to defeat those goddesses? Sidori, bring me water. My life's in danger. These fools may yet make me laugh myself to death. Merlin brought me the future's greatest clowns. I wanna punch him, I wanna punch him, but I gotta hold back. Don't punch him, don't punch the king, don't punch the king. <laughs> wow, that was a good one. I'll put it down in the court records. It'll say, the king is in great abdominal pain. <laughs> ah. Oh god, I wanna punch him so bad. But knowing everything I say, I say this. I have no use for you right now. You are all contaminants to this era. Rather, you are in excess. I go so far to say you're unnecessary. That's not what she was saying last night. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. Uruk is mine to protect. I do not need help from Chaldea. The heavens may fall and the earth may split. But this audience will be the last time I speak to you. No, I'm gonna cry. Listen, do not think that you can beat those goddesses with the pathetic pawns you possess. So when you say pathetic pawns, you mean my servants, meaning yourself. Okay. <laughs> Forgive me for interrupting your pleasant chat, my king. Does this look like a pleasant chat to you? Are you blind? Huh? Oh, well, uh, we just heard your laugher, laughter of going through the ziggurat and assumed you were having a good time? Fool! 
don't you know that at a certain age, one can laugh at the drop of a hat? No matter. What is it? A uh, message from our observation post near the Tigris. Tigris, whatever the fuck. They sighted the wake from the boat of heaven in the sky. It's heading for Urk at high speed. Is this star one of the three Goddess Alliance members? Well, fuck. Yeah, Merlin's just like, okay, cool. <sighs> that fool again. Does she ever learn? Never learn? Or is she so stupid she can't even remember what happened a day ago? No, I doubt that mor moron can even manage to remember what happened 12 hours ago. Ahem, your majesty, please refrain from insulting Ishtar. She is the patron deity of our city. Even as king, you shouldn't be blas uh, shouldn't blas uh, blasphemy against her so carelessly. When you speak of her like that here, it makes matters difficult for the sacred temple. Don't concern yourself with such matters. Has she ever protected the Urks from anything? She destroys things that don't need to be destroyed, and creates things that don't need to be created. She's a cross between a horde of locusts and a sandstorm and a child's tantrum. She's probably going to accidentally, accidentally destroy Enna, her own home, again, and then go run crying to I. <laughs> of course, Han vanished long ago. Even her father's given up on her. She got what she had coming. That girl's going to end up all alone, crying and crying until she finally dies of exhaustion. <laughs> Revolting. What did you say? Uh oh. <laughs> uh, she came down from the sky, your majesty. Is that Ishtar? Retreat! Everyone retreat! She's going to smite us! Emergency! Priest, prepare your special prayers! You are permitted to use them on our patron goddess! I didn't think you'd head straight for the throne room. You're like a gossip-loving city girl. Senpai, his majesty is making shoo-shoo motions with his hand and looking genuinely annoyed. You're the one who is acting like a brat! I've had enough of your insulting behind my back! Now I'm mad! I was planning to kill on killing you slowly and elegantly to make you suffer, but I've changed my mind. You're going to pay for all these years of making a mockery of a goddess. Now die! Is Charing is ridding her heavenly bow a uh, bow? Good luck, my king. We're retreating. What? You're not going to watch. No need to be so humble. This is your chance to see the mythological sight of a nasty young goddess meeting her end. No, it wouldn't be worth getting cr uh, cursed for generations for just having watched. Good luck! Huh, hilarious. Even your soldiers have abandoned you. That's what you get. Your bad deeds finally caught up with you. You're dead. I see. When I hear that from you, it really makes me think. This cretin is calling me the worst. Huh, perhaps I should look back on my life and reflect a bit. Excuse you, I'm a damn goddess. Rethink your words. <laughs> it's hard to believe that a king and a goddess are exchanging insults like that. Huh? But Simbai, isn't that girl? Uh, yep, it's that girl with the- Oh, dang, that second one's a bird. I'm not gonna say that one. It's the weird girl. Who just said that even more rude thing? Wait, I know you, human. Oh, <laughs> have you run to this goddess before? Oh, oh, and it seems you- She ran into trouble. <laughs> Hilarious. Another tale of glory to add to Ishtar's myth, huh? Uh, guess we are taking this to court. Uh, oh, you're waving at me and saying hi like we're friends? You don't understand the situation at all, do you? That means I can do this with no regrets. You've destroyed the last of my conscience. 
I don't want weird rumors going around, so I'll kill both you and Goldie Boy over there. <laughs> Excellent. Now this is getting now this is getting fun. For a brief while, I shall permit you to fight alongside me. Let's go, Chaldeans. Time to slay a goddess. Let's teach this wanton, spoiled daddy's girl of a goddess a lesson. Oh gosh, I love this. I love the exchanges between Gil and uh, Ishtar. That's pretty funny. Oh man. I also like voicing Gil and Ishtar. It's kind of, it's pretty fun so far. Dang. Okay. Oh boy. Here we go. I'm scared. Let's see if Dear Mood can do his thing on her. Yes. Awesome. Good job, Dear Mood. Thank you, Dear Mood, for your bulk. <laughs> okay, not bad so far. Uh, let's see. Let's try and get rid of these first. It's kind of hard to do, but we can try our best. Okay, I'm gonna heal you with your thing. Go ahead do that. Okay, now I'll do a little healy. Okay. No, wait. Uh, let's try that. Nice. Mm, very close, okay. Oh god. I don't think they'll survive this. Oh wow, okay. That's very powerful. Yikes. That's very powerful. Wow. We're probably gonna have to use the same course for this. There's no way. There's just no way, man. Wow, that was shocking. Wow. Just wow. I'm shooketh. I am shooketh. Go ahead, get Skahawk in there and get her thing up and then... Oh boy, wow. Oh, come on, don't die. Dang it. That's what I thought was gonna happen. I thought so. But I wasn't sure. Okay. I'm gonna put that up for now. Let's do that. I'm hoping Skahawk and... Well, I think she'll be okay. Okay. Of course they're gonna go after her. Turn no phantasms all the way up. Okay. He can finish that off. And then she can do her number of phantasm. That did a lot of damage. Good. Okay, good, 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 good. Hopefully, Skaha can live through this next attack she's about to do. If not, I think we'll still be alright, though. Oh no, Ku is the one that got attacked from it. Okay. Awesome. Good. Alright, so Ku, you that on yourself just to get a little bit up. And then. Do that. Oh shit. 
God damn it, I didn't see her invincible crap until after. God dang it. I can I bet all of you were yelling at me. Like, you're an idiot! What are you doing? Look at her! Ah! Like, I can see it. Yelling in the comments about that. I'm such an idiot. I'm dumb. I'm stupid. I'm dumb dumb. That was stupid. That was really dumb. But, you know what also isn't dumb though? What I'm about to do. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> ha, take this, Ishtar. Take this, Ishtar. There we go. Did it. Yatta. Yatta ne. Oh, and I did that thing. Cool. All right. Well, how do you feel now, Ishtar, huh? How do you feel? Spoiled as you are, you're still a goddess. Regular magecraft won't even graze you. And what's more, you're holding back your authority. There's a limit to my patience, Ishtar. Ish Ishtar, bleh. Right back at you. I hold back my authority for the sake of Urk, not because I'm considering your safety, Baka. Oh, now I'm even pissing myself off. Why should I care about Urk when it's not even mine anymore? Okay, I don't care anymore! I'll blow you up along with the cigarette! Hm? You there, human. Who's that hiding behind you? Uh... Behind me? So that's what's going on. Things are getting complicated. Ishtar is rising. Is she retreating? I changed my mind. I only came to pick up my pillow for my bedchamber in Iana anyway. Astonishing. Ishtar of all goddesses is running away with her tail between her legs. What are you talking about? I just dropped while by while I was out for a stroll. I freely overlook Urk, freely p pluck my bow, and freely ravage the lands. See you, oh shirtless king of Urk. Have fun with the demonic beast up north. And Siduri, when Gilgamesh dies, it's not like I won't save Urk, so keep a white flag ready. A white flag? Do you mean? She's cooled down. What an annoyingly lucky woman. Just a little more, and I would have had the anti Ishtar net launched. Curses. It seems so. As long as Mana, the boat of heaven, is around, it will be difficult to capture Ishtar. Well, fine. Let's get back to work. We've lost a lot of time. Let's work harder, Sidori. Sidori. Yes, we shall resume planning to flood the Tigris River. There has been a suggestion that we can use red clay as new soil. They've restarted their work as if nothing happened. What should we do, Senpai? Ishtar's attacks must be a daily thing. The soldiers took their time about coming back. Hmm, there's not much we can do now. Let's go find a place to stay for the night. For tonight. The king is moody, so maybe he'll listen to you guys tomorrow. I will not, you nitwit. Urk is is uh, is in unprecedented unprecedented danger. I have no time to deal with your Chaldean field trip. That's quite a burn. These guys have already corrected several singularities. They're practically professionals at restoring history. Aren't you a bit overworked? Why don't you try trusting a third party for once? There's no need. Any disaster caused in this era will be solved by the people of this era. If they are needed, they'll be brought in later. And Merlin, remember who you are contracted to. 
I'm the one who summoned you, not Kalia. As such, you should be working only for me. Er, it hurts me to hear that. Oh well, it's not like it's not as if I have much of a heart anyway. Wait, did you just let someone important information slip? You weren't summoned by the ritual sect, but by King Gilgamesh. Oh, uh, I thought that was what I said. Yes, Gilgamesh is a wise king. He shed his warrior persona to become a mage instead. To protect Urk. Nay, in the Mesopotamian world, he sheds his holy blood as a mage. He has become a more reasonable, regal, reliable version of King Gilgamesh. Unwillingly, that is. I can't fix this disaster with my strength alone. I must protect my people, borders, and our way of life. I must fight with all of Mesopotamia. That is why I locked away my treasures and took upon a staff. Summoning that half-blood mage there was also part of the plan. This is the real heroic spirit summon, unlike the summons of Chaldea. Really? Well, now I've lost a bit of confidence. Even if you're an ancient king, to be able to summon heroic spirits that easily is so... I'd probably, I'd probably have to mention that this is the... The end of the Age of Gods. Something is much easier here than in your time. Now, if we were in the 21st century, um, with Magecraft diminishing, even the king or I wouldn't find it easy to summon a heroic spirit. So there you have it. Your actions are utterly arrogant. But that summoning system was created with talent equal to, go to godly skill. I will not mock the effort, research, and miracles put towards it. That, and the shred of hope you offered. <laughs> you have done well in the first six singularities. The king complimented us. However, those eras are not this one. I do not need you all. If you still say you want to assist me, you may do so by working your way up from the bottom. High Priestess, I put you in charge of them. It may be a pain, but take care of them. Well, alright then, that's a thing. So we've been driven out of the ziggurat. What shall we do now, Master? Do not worry. I shall oversee your stay here for the time being. Ah, where are my manners? I am Siduri. I assist the king as well as the ma manage the ritual sect. Uh, I'm Sarah. Pleased to meet you. I'm pleased to meet you, too. We welcome you all, guest from Chaldea. I never imagined Miss Siduri would be taking care of Sarah. This means my work here is maybe done? Yep, that would uh, help me out so much. Now I have time to pursue the markets. I heard Urk's ale is to die for. Huh? I am sure you already uh, knew already, but Merlin here will not be of much use to you. Therefore, I shall give you some advice. The king has said you are not needed. However, he did use, not use the words worthless or meaningless. Therefore, if you would like for the king to listen, having some noteworthy achievements would be helpful. When you say achievements, do you mean the demonic front? Like defeating the beast that threatened Nurk? No, that would be the soldier's job. For you, let's see. Go and help with the various jobs in the city. I believe the king would want that. So basically, uh, you'd be a jack of all trades. I will go and make the job arrangements for you. First, I shall guide you to your private lodge. Please, come with me. Th thank you. But, um, why would you go that far for us? Setting aside King Gilgamesh's opinion, I'm sure we are suspicious foreigners to you. Because the king ordered me to take care of you, it's not often he says something like that. I cannot understand yet, but you must be worth at least that much to him. Therefore, as his assistant, 
I so trusted his word. Please, lead a righteous life. One of, uh, fuck, I missed what she said. One of incompetent being like me would be able to understand. That shall be my reward as well. That is how this country runs. We don't have many resources, so there isn't much in the way of entertainment. For Ook, ale, sheep, and people's smiles are what give everyone the energy to survive. Okay, that's interesting. Thanks for telling us, lady. Huh. Well, we met Gilgamesh. Oh my goodness. He is quite the look. Like, like I already have him as a servant, but he's still quite the looker. Like, like bless the gods for Castor Gilgamesh. Like, oh boy, that's hot. 